Hey everyone, so this is basically going to be a intermediate tutorial for Zeebos and pretty much just building a base and uh, having a place to sleep and uh, be protected. So um, we're just going to log in. And so uh, we're back right where we left off in the last video. And so the first thing um, I think that we should do is get a backpack. Um, so how you're going to do that is uh, there's cotton around the map. Um, mine just happened to be right here, but you can just search the map and you'll find these. It's not that rare. Uh, you just pick the cotton. There's going to be, uh, it'll give you seed of cotton and you just have to click it to get the seeds out. Uh, you can drop those and uh, a new cotton plant will be planted right there. Um, so now we have this cotton. So pretty much what you can do is use knives on it to carve it or uh, I guess like pretty much craft it into a string so uh, I don't have a knife but I have this sharp rock which uh, can be used as a hatchet or a knife so I'm going to use that um, and click on the cotton it's going to give me a string and then I'm going to use another sharp rock on it to make it into to craft it into a cloth so now you have this cloth right here um, and then just go up to your anvil that you have uh, wield your hammer and craft it into a backpack so pretty much just it's that simple and then to wear it you just click it so now you can see my guys wearing a backpack and um, I have twice the amount of inventory space and this is really useful for mining and all that so um, so now the next thing I would say is let's make a chest to store items like this gold bar right here I don't want to be running around and carrying this while I mine so um, pretty much to make a chest you have to find a large uh, a large log so let's go around um, these would be like medium logs these orange trees don't grow or fruit trees don't grow into uh, where you can get like large logs from them so you have to find it either oak or maple tree so I found an oak tree right here so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down uh, as you can see you get a stick a seed and a log every time you cut the tree down completely um, so let's go back to our base um, so now I'm gonna drop this acorn over here so that I can kind of grow some trees around my base a little bit. Um, now we're just going to wield our hammer, click on the anvil, click on the log, and then you're going to see two options. There's a door and a chest. So the door is useful later. We'll, we'll get into that later, but uh, for now let's make the chest. And then uh, you click on it to place the object. Whenever you click it anywhere, it will show you exactly where it's going to place. And you simply click to put it where you want. So I'll just put it right by my anvil, put it right here. And you can enable these zone lines and things to see if you should be placing it. Like you probably wouldn't want to place it right here, things like that. So um, yeah, just place it and then click it to open it, click it to see what's inside it. And then you can put any items that you don't need right now into it and it'll store it for you. Um, so that's that. Also keep in mind though that other players can just, if they find this chest, you know, they can open it and take all your stuff too. So uh, that's pretty much what we want to do next is kind of create a base and um, like keep this protected like we saw that base earlier. It's pretty difficult to get in without losing all your karma and putting yourself at risk. So uh, that's pretty much what we want to do. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and find a, I saw these boulders earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and mine them and uh, get some, try to get some ore.
All right, so we're back. Um, so the first thing we got to do now is make another fire so we can smelt all these ores that we mine. So if you use better logs, obviously it'll the fire will last longer and you can smelt more on them. So that is recommended. I got a bunch of logs. I'm not going to smelt this aluminum ore yet because um, if you smelt it on a coal fire, it actually makes uh, a, like aluminum alloy, so it's a better. Alright, so pretty much what we're going to do right now is craft a bunch of knives and hatchets or axes pretty much so that we can uh, use them to cut a bunch of trees and get a bunch of log spikes, um, craft them into log spikes. So I'm going to go ahead and craft a lot of knives right now. Oh, and I lost my anvil so I'm going to go ahead and set another one down. Um, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> make some armor just to show you all how to do that. So you can actually craft these um, large bars into pieces of armor. So you have a helmet. I'll make an iron helmet and I'll make an iron plate <clears throat> and then copper legs and copper shield. So now I have a bunch of armor. So if I, if I fight anybody, I'll be a lot more... Uh, protected. So now let's go ahead and craft the rest of these knives. And you will need a lot, that's why I went out and uh, got a bunch of them. So, all right, so we can go ahead and put a bunch of them into our chest because we're not going to need this many yet, or we're not going to need to carry them around this much. So, uh, so about three of each is fine. So now what you're going to want to do is go around and just uh, cut a bunch of trees down. Um, I would say to drop these um, mangoes and sticks just around, like spread them out so whenever they grow, they'll grow near our base and you can uh, have trees to cut in the future that are already near your base. Oops. So yeah, now we have a bunch of log spikes. <clears throat> and so what you want to do with these is just like in every other object that you place, um, <clears throat> you just want to pick a spot and just place it by clicking and put them close together so that people can't just walk through them and you can arrange them in any way you want. Um, <clears throat> Also, keep in mind that um, maple and oak logs, and the larger the log is, the better, stronger, more dur durable it is, so the longer it takes somebody to break through it. So that's something to keep in mind. So pretty much we can carry this um, wall on around the base, but um, y'all can imagine what that would look like and how that'll be. So um, just moving on. So next we're going to build a door for it. So let's go ahead and find another large oak tree. So here's one. So I'm going to cut it down. back over here and craft the oak log into a door and then just like every other object you can place it by just choosing where you want it uh, now how a door works is pretty much it has collision when it's closed like this but when you click it and it's open you can there's no collision at all so um, pretty much how that works and then um, so let's go ahead and make a lock and a key for the door so Okay, so we're back now. Um, so I got my anvil. I actually, if you see, my karma went down. I actually broke into somebody's base and stole it. So uh, yeah, place it and then use your hammer on it. <clears throat> and then craft a, your gold bar. And like I said, usually these are more rare, but I kind of got lucky. So uh, pretty much what you're going to do is craft a lock. And whenever you do that, it's going to say type in a password. So you're going to pick a three-digit number. I'm just going to say um, 711. 
and then press enter and then so it's going to craft your lock and then do the same thing for hold on let me get a hammer so now for the key you're going to do the same thing but make sure that these numbers are the same and you can tell any of your friends that you want the number or I would be very selective on who you tell but uh and then so you press that so anytime <clears throat> so now you can you can wield the lock <coughs> and you can use it on the door and it'll so you create a locked door and because I have the key see if I drop the key so I don't have it I can't open the door so then I can't get in so that's how you pretty much keep your base secure you can also put uh, locks on your chest if you don't want to bother with making the door um, but doors I think are more useful so um, I hope that helps y'all and uh, see y'all online